Hey, 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 Kurt the Boat Doctor. Oh, has it been pouring down rain? He probably got a south southwest wind. Hopefully, this will clear. It's supposed to clear today, and we're supposed to have a good Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday. Hey, Big Jim, what do you think? I like it when you're wet like that. You don't look dirty. Anyway, hey, this is a beautiful boat. This is an 18 by uh, 42 degree hole, 42 midship. That's a train maker. Uh, anyway, lots of room. You could ask, actually classify that as a 26, counting the offshore bracket. You got the foot jack, top mount coupler. I added brake fluid. Seems like easy loader, or, and then Tufts, all these companies, they must save on not putting brake fluid in. But anyway, I filled it up. I always just learned to check. Uh, two inch uh, ball, peek a poop, uh, standard flip, foot jack I like. Uh, nice channel trailer. <clears throat> You got strakes up underneath, dual wipers, window stop, keyhole, three of them babies there for drainage, shallow deck, which you like. Uh, they really put a good, good, well-built boat together. North River, number one, probably in resale down the down the road. Uh, it's got a 100-gallon uh, fuel tank in it, it's, uh, 84, that's seven-foot bottom. Uh, you got uh, 102 on the beam, that's 86. Uh, you got that's a partial hard top that is removable if you want to take it off It's aluminum with the trays in it side windows uh, Very very I like the color on this one. It ain't it isn't black, but it isn't green It's kind of in between sometimes it looks black sometimes it look green see uh, You got the custom mag wheels black inserts inlays or whatever you want to call them Still debris floating up, but not like it was earlier this year big trim tabs off to the side Zinc plates, you can put your transducers there. You got a T99 tiller. Uh, these are a little more harder to put a, when you go to a tiller, uh, a tie bar. You can do it, but it's it's a lot of bends to it. Uh, good welds on here. Yeah, very good. You got support right there. You got your little delta. You got that uh, 5086 alloy, quarter inch bottom, it looks like. Look how thick that is. Wow. Uh, anyway, that flange off the side, what I'm showing right now, that's a must. If they don't have them, you're going to take water coming off that leading edge and it's going to spray up on your motors, 11 by 7. This is uh, probably 15, yep, 15 diameter by 17, stainless. Let's see if they use the Yamaha salt too. Yes, they did. That's on the V6. I highly recommend those. They're thick on the right up on top and then they thin down. The, I mean, they cut right through the water. This has the when you're flushing a V6, you got this bullet one here, and then you got your regular intake there. Water comes in from all angles. And there's your P-hole and P's out. <clears throat> so I'm saying if you're at home and you're flushing this out, you either want to get that bullet in that goes onto here and use the flusher to boot. That means two. If you don't have one of those that slides over that, then tape that off and use this one if you're going to run it at home. And it does take these things about 15 to 20 seconds to when they fire up to get water to uh, pee out of it. Uh, you got your ladder, rear entry door. NRB, that means 24, that's a 24 foot, 23, so 24, 25, 26. So yeah, you can get tricky when they close the bar to 26, there you go. Uh, you got your rigging tube, looks really sanitary, that's your steering. I like that setup, tube here, nice. I like that style there instead of an open one for the kicker over there. If you see, it's like a little suction cup on the end. <laughs> Build pump, deck light. And then they need to take this VHF and push it to one side, see how it's over. They just need to loosen that screw and then tilt it a little bit. If they can't, oh, I see what they did. Okay, if you did, it's gonna be Kunky war Warpus. I guess you could rest it up into here if you wanted to, like this. Just loose this. That right, right there. Then tighten it out. There. That'll work. Lots of room, wash down, fish box, and I'll show you all this when I get it in the water. Spare tire, channel, uh, aluminum, way to go. Got your tie down there, from there to there, straight down so you don't rub on the side of the boat. The internal zinc, external zinc, salt water protected, both of these motors are. Stainless prop shaft, gear, uh, gear shaft, prop shaft, I guess you could say. Shaft, gear shaft, yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, fresh water flush here, and do not start them if you use that unless you have the flusher down there with water on them. Okay, I'm going to get it in the truck, I suppose, and wait for this rain to stop, and then I'll put it in the water. No need for me to get drenched. 
because every time I do it, I'm about I get soaked by 10, 30, 11, and then of course it quits raining when I'm almost done. Boat Doctor out.